So I hope you have an overview of how to attain citizenship in Germany. So those who are asking, I just came to Germany in 2018. I thought if I give birth in Germany, my child will become a German citizen. And this week I'm going to tell you about other ways to attain the German citizenship. And welcome back to the Phoebe way if this is your first time my name is Phoebe on this channel we talk about life in Germany you know we discuss all topics relating to German um, foreigners in Germany German experts or experts in Germany everything to make your life in Germany easy and enjoyable so it's settling smoothly this is what we do on this channel also because I love traveling I'm bringing to you my travel discoveries as well yes so this is life in Germany and one thing about life in Germany is the German citizenship. So last week we started the series where I talked to you guys about why you should get the German um, citizenship, why you should naturalize the German citizenship. And this week I'm going to tell you about other ways to attain the German citizenship. So if this is what you're in, get yourself a cup of tea and let us continue. Now, before we do that, luggage pool, H, luggage pool. How can I continue without telling you guys about luggage pool? So luggage pool is made by expats for expats. So if you are having logistics issues, how to move heavy things from one point to the other, if you need people to help you move certain items or objects, if you're trying to move homes, if you're trying to get um, your furniture, new furniture from the furniture house, Ikea, Mermax, um, Bola, XXXX, Lodes, Globus, whatever, they are here to help you. Just book them and now they have an app as well so you can be helped on the go. This is the link for you to register and save 5 euros off. And also not just within Germany, as I said, it's for expats. So if you're trying to convey documents, medication, anything as a parcel from Germany to your home country, from your home country to Germany, Find someone on the platform who is traveling home or coming back and they will help you do that. And the price is per kilo. So luggage pool helps you with the pricing as well. So you don't have to do everything by yourself. Now let's get into the German citizenship story. <laughs> so naturalization obviously is the one for adults and people who are already of age who want to naturalize the German citizenship. Also it's for children, yes. But if you want to naturalize or attain a German citizenship, naturalization is one of the ways you could do that. And it's also easier because the requirements are easier for people to attain. I'm saying this because we'll get to the other two ways soon and you realize that this is actually the, the easier method to attain the citizenship. So just like naturalization, there are certain requirements. The requirements are a bit long but I'm going to just blend them in we will discuss them as well next week where we talk about those who have already applied and were denied or rejected we'll talk about those as well and whether you can actually reapply and all of that we'll talk about that next week so if I'm not yet subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe and also um, that is it so but basically the steps are like this you will sub get the application form you submit your application you pay for naturalization test, you take a naturalization test, it's 25 euros. Naturalization test, what do they ask you? They ask you about living in Germany, they ask you about German rules and regulations, and then there's also um, the German society. Question about the German society, and also there are three questions that are dedicated or focused on your region. So for example, I'm down south in Baden-Württemberg, so I have to be able to answer questions about Baden-Württemberg. Some people are exempted from this naturalization test. For example, I was because I went to school in Germany. I went, I did my um, gymnasium in Germany. I did my abitur. So because of that, I didn't have to take naturalization test. So these are some of the exemptions and we'll talk about that next week. Okay, so subscribe, um, activate the notification button and we'll get into that. So those are the steps. The naturalization test costs 25. The um, naturalization, I mean, yeah, naturalization test, 25 naturalization process or the form itself for the administration cost for that is 225 for adults and for people who are lower than 16 years, it's 51 euros. 51, yeah, I think it's 51. If it's not 51, I'll put the right amount here, yeah, I think it's 51 euros. So if you are below 16, it's 51 euros. So that is a naturalization. Also, you can naturalize through marriage. Obviously, you have to apply. So with that, you take the naturalization test, you prove your German proficiency, that you can rise and read the language, 
and you also have to um, prove that you have been married for the past two years and you have also been in Germany for three years prior to your application. So th this, these are the um, requirements if you are trying to naturalize through marriage and with that you don't have to wait the eight years or the seven years that other people have to wait and also make sure that your partner is German because he's the one helping or he or she's help, um, helping you to naturalize so your spouse has to be German. That is the um, requirements for naturalization through marriage. So you can do it yourself or once you get married through your partner. Now, naturalization. I went through that really quickly because naturalization is something that we're going to be talking about a lot and we have talked about a lot. So let us go on to the next one. The next way to attain German citizenship is through um, birth. So that is, we have two um, birth ways. One is through the territory, so by, um, where you were born and then one is through blood so descent so who your parents are that's one side and the other side is one is when you were born within the german territory so now let's do the blood one first so the blood one is the use sanguinis what that says is that at least one parent has to be german okay and then if the and once the child has been born up until the first the child's first birthday the parents must have had registered the child with the German authorities that yes, we have a child. And then after the child has crossed the 18th birthday, the child has some time to decide whether the child will stick with the German citizenship or if it was only one parent who was German with the other parent's um, citizenship. So up until you're 18, you have the double citizenship. And then once you turn 18, you have to decide between the German and the non-German citizenship. This is when it comes to when both parents, um, when one parent is German and you were not born in Germany, but um, your parents registered and said that you were born um, you were born to a German parent. That is the difference. When you are born to a German parent, these are the regulations. Another thing too is that if you were ad adopted as well, it applies to you as well. So an adopted child can also attain the German citizenship. So if you were born on German soil, okay, and none of your parents is German, but one parent has lived in Germany for more than eight years, so up to eight years before birth of the child, and the child would be eligible for the German citizenship if the uh, the parent has the residence permit. So Niederlassungserlaubnis is important, okay? Niederlassungserlaubnis is the key word here. So if you are not German, but you have the Niederlassungserlaubnis or the German residence permit, then you can have or apply for the German citizenship for your child. And with that as well, the child keeps the German citizenship and the other citizenship to so the child is 18 and usually it's five years time that the child has between 18 and 23 to decide which citizenship he or she would choose. That is the only crux or the only thing about the dual citizenship. And this is for children who were born after the 2nd February 1990. So children who were born after 2nd February 1990 are eligible for this type of citizenship or this type of method. Of, of attaining citizenship and when renunciation is not possible because maybe it's difficult for you to gain renunciation from the other um, citizenship from the other country or they do not allow it or something then you can keep both citizenships but usually dual citizenship is not allowed in Germany except it's two EU countries so France Germany or something like that but you cannot have dual citizenship with, for example, Ghana, Germany, it does not work. So I hope you have an overview of how to attain citizenship in Germany. So those who are asking, I just came to Germany 2018. I thought if I give birth in Germany, my child become a German citizen. No, which means that because you've been in Germany for more than eight years and you have, you don't have the residence permits being the Niederlassungs erlaubnis, your child is not going to be German, except the child's other parents, being the father or the mother, is German, and then it is German by blood. But if you are just coming to Germany to just give birth, thinking your child is going to become German, the answer is no, okay? The answer is no. So guys, I hope this was helpful to you. The handles you see down below, especially our Facebook page, we are trying to grow that and also our Facebook group. Join our Facebook group, like the Facebook page because I'll be dropping nuggets there as well. Also the Instagram page, if you have any questions, just mail me through there or just private message me through Instagram, Facebook or Twitter and I'll gladly answer and help you out. 
If you have any other questions about neutralization, send them in now because next week we're going to be discussing the frequently asked questions because some people have questions because they were rejected, they don't know why and how, which steps to continue with. This is the right place for you to be. So I'm here to help and I love to help as well. If you need a legal interpreter, I'm your girl, I'm your plug. Yes, with that I can help. I forgot to say that. So since 2022, I am your legal interpreter. You can call on me anytime. As I said, just message me on any of the platforms and it will talk business, we'll talk money, okay? So thank you so much for watching and take good care of yourselves. See you same time next Sunday. Cheers.